Hi guys, here's going to be an example of an optical illusion that could get you a level 3 to 4. Now, <clears throat> at level 3, 4, you have done your two transformations. So, um, you should have, um, for example, absorption, reflection, refraction, one of those. And um, after lesson 2, you should have done a reflection example. So let me show you a reflection example. Oh, hang on. There we go. So here's a setup. We've got three colored lights shining on a poster. Here's the poster. We've got the link between angle of incidence and refraction. We've got a graph, table, the situation of refraction and an explanation. Interesting poster, but how's the optical illusion? Well, at level 3-4, you haven't really done a good optical illusion. So if I use the mirror and I look in the mirror, then we can see that there's a transformation. Everything is reversed. So what do I have for my two transformations at level 4? In this example, I have a reflection from a plain mirror, and that has caused the order of the text to be reversed. And I've also got some different colors of lights producing a sort of white rainbow effect on the paper. Is it a very interesting optical illusion? I would say no. I mean, it still looks like a poster. It is a backwards poster but it's not particularly interesting. It's not particularly changing my perception. So this would be a level three to four, depending on how you do the explanation. That it does meet the requirements because it is using both absorption, reflection, and um, we're also seeing um, different colors forming a new color. We're seeing white being formed from um, red, green, and blue. But it doesn't make a very interesting optical illusion. It doesn't trick my brain into thinking I'm seeing something that I'm not really seeing. Yes, it is in a different position. So the image is in a different position to the actual object. The poster is the object. The mirror image is in a different position, but it's not too interesting. So probably this is likely going to get you a three to four. You could also use refraction. So you could have a level three to four idea for refraction. Here's a prism, glass prism, and we're just gonna point it at the camera. And we have refraction through glass, and we have reflection, and we can see the poster through the prism. Even though I'm not looking at the poster directly, I can see it through the prism. And I can see another part of the classroom even though that table and chair is in a different place, it's not visible, we can see that on the other side. So when you start to play with this equipment, you will notice effects that you didn't notice before. If you want to improve from a level three to four up to a level five, six, you need to keep working, keep trying and when you notice something, think about how you can use it in a different way.